Quick one today about those annoying messages I'm sure y'all foreigners been receiving from your banks in recent weeks. You're watching Secular and this is a video on the FACTA CRS reporting and how to do whatever it is you need to do. Also why. Quick disclaimer, I'm neither a tax professional nor am I a lawyer so you'll want to check in with your own financial institution to ensure that the documents that you bring to your bank are the ones that they need and that they're, they're asking for. According to the messages they've been sending, the deadline is within the next nine days, I think. So it's probably in your best interest to try to get this done ASAP. Also, we definitely appreciate a quick like and follow if you'd be so kind. And we'll try to get on these types of things with a little more quickness in the future. Now let's get to it. All right, so real quick, FACTA stands for Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act and CRS stands for Common Reporting Standards. And they're basically just reporting tools used by financial institutions and governments to cut down on any potential tax evasion. Essentially, RFIs or reporting financial institutions like the bank that you do your banking with are required to report on the holdings of their foreign customers to assist tax authorities in their effort to identify tax dodgers. FACTA is a US specific law, while CRS is an international agreement. Now failure to report on foreign accounts can lead to fines which were initially set to kick in last year when enforcement was supposed to start, or actually I think it was actually 2020. But anyways, a lot of RFIs applied for and received an extension on implementation due to the pandemic. Now, however, it seems like financial institutions are eager to get it done. So if you've gotten the message, it means that your bank wants you to provide them with the information needed for their reporting procedures. Now, what the message actually asks for are an ITN or an international tax number, personal ID of which I believe it would be best to just bring your passport in addition to your ARC card because you're going to need to bring your ARC card if you have it. Um, if you don't have one, then you'll somehow have to provide proof of residence, such as a domestic residence certificate, uh, immigration record, something like that. And uh, you also need to bring a taxpayer identification number of your country if you have any overseas tax obligations. Now, for Canadians, this can be replaced with your SIN, right? Not a TIN. We don't have a TIN. Uh, we have an SIN. But... If you don't have that on hand, it's not really that big of a deal since we don't have to pay taxes on money earned outside of the Dominion if we're tax residents of that country, which I'm assuming a lot of you have declared. Now, every country has a different name for their tax number. Like the US has a ITIN or the SSN, the UK uses a NINO, a national insurance number, or UTR. Uh, Sweden uses their personal identity number, Thailand does the same, Malaysia uses the tax reference number, uh, I mean, you can just look up what your country uses and what you can bring in as a substitute for an ITN if you don't have an ITN. Personally, I got this done two weeks ago. It's pretty easy. You just go and fill out a form, give them your information, they photocopy your passport, and then you're out in like 30 minutes as long as there's no wait. Um, my bank is still sending me messages though, and they're still asking me to report, which is kind of annoying because that just means that somebody's not crossing their T's. But it also probably means that they're just sending out message blasts to get as much coverage as possible in the hopes that we'll just heed their warning of being charged with obstruction of duty. What any potential punishment may entail is completely beyond me. I don't know how they're going to enforce it on our end, but I'm personally not interested in risking whatever they're threatening on doing. Also, I don't have any tax obligations. I'm not evading anything. So personally, I'm reporting. If you are evading taxes somehow, maybe, I don't know, figure that out for yourself. Now, anyways, the reason that I believe that banks are sending out these messages en masse this year is because reporting standards and penalties against RFIs for non-compliance non are really kicking in starting this year. So if you've been here for a minute and you don't really remember ever having to do this is because you've never had to because they've never really had to. Also, if you're wondering why your Korean colleagues or friends don't have to do this, it's because they're not foreigners here. You know what I mean? All right, that's it for me. I'll be back soon, so please check back regularly. I'm trying to keep the time down for you. All the best. Be easy. Peace.